Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. IRS Taxpayer Assistance Centers open on special Saturdays for face-to-face -face help. But first, an attempt at a joke. I apologize in advance. A business dealing with the IRS is kind of like a snowman dealing with an aggressive carrot. You just want to tell it to get out of your face. IR 2022-26 February 4th, 2022, Washington. As part of a larger effort to help people during this year's filing season, the Internal Revenue Service today announced special Saturday hours at many taxpayer assistance centers, the TACs, across the country. And I think this is good news because I think a lot of people do need that face-to-face -face communication and help with the preparation of the taxes. They didn't have it last year as much due to the fact of the restrictions with the COVID-19 and all that going on. And obviously just giving some of these people access to possibly free filing software that can help you to process the tax return isn't going to be the kind of help that some people are going to be needing. There's been a lot of changes in the tax code as well. So people are going to have to be dealing with those changes as they basically uh, fill out their taxes as well as changes in, in their filing statuses and so on in their work kind of status as the years have gone by and ha as it has changed more in recent years. I also think it's a good news that these kind of uh, services are becoming more available through kind of federal sponsored types of programs because hopefully that shows that there's a little bit of loosening in the place where there's one of the most restricted kind of areas with regards to uh, COVID policies and whatnot from coming from basically the Fed. So hopefully at this point, I would think you could loosen up over there, guys, and help, you know let us <laughs> let us you know you know let go of the let go of the uh, of the restrictions here. So that would be good. So the TACs provide taxpayers with in-person help. Select TACs are open from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. February 12th, March 12th, April 9th, and May 14th. Normally, these centers are not open on Saturday. No appointments are required. Quote, the IRS continues to do everything we can to help people during this unprecedented period, end quote, said IRS Commissioner Chuck Reddick. Quote, opening these assistance centers for special Saturday hours is designed to provide yet another way for people to get the help they need. We encourage people to review the details on these special Saturday hours so we can help serve them. I'm also extremely grateful to our employees who have stepped up to provide this special assistance, end quote. People can receive walk-in help on all services. However, the TACs will not accept cash payments on these Saturdays. During the extra uh, operating hours, people can also ask about reconciling advanced child tax credit payments. There's a link to that here and receive other help. Uh, to see which TACs will be open, you can visit irs.gov forward slash Saturday hours. There's a link to that here. Come prepared. To arrive prepared, individuals should bring the following information. Current government issued photo identification. Social security cards for members of their household, including spouse and dependents, if applicable, and any IRS letters or notices received and related documents. During the visit, IRS staff may also request the following information. A current mailing address, an email address, and bank account information to receive payments or refunds by direct deposit. Quote, we encourage people to receive payments and their tax refunds via direct deposit, which is faster and more secure than other payment methods, end quote, said IRS Wage and Investment Commissioner and Taxpayer Experience Officer Ken Corbin. That's quite the title. I love the titles here. Let's read that title again. This, this is Ken Corbin is the, is the IRS Wage Investment Commissioner and Taxpayer Experience Officer. Okay, in any case, quote, people who, uh, people who don't have a bank account should visit the Federal Department uh, Deposit Insurance Corporation. There's a link to that here. Website for details on opening an account online. They can also use the FDIC's bank find. There's a link to that here. Tool to find to FDIC insured bank, end quote. So we've got also Bank On, Bank uh, American Bankers Association, Independent Community Bankers of American, National Credit Unions, Administrations, links to all those items here as well to help you find a bank that can help you with the direct deposit, hopefully. Uh, they have lists of banks and credit unions that allow opening an account online. Veterans can use Veteran Benefits Banking Program. There's a link to that here too to learn about financial services at participating banks. Services provided. The IRS's contact your local office site. There's a link to that here. Lists all services provided at specific TACs. If someone has a question or questions about 
a tax bill or an IRS audit or needs help resolving a tax problem, they will see, receive assistance from IRS employees specializing in these services. If these employees are not available, the individual re will receive a referral for these services. Taxpayers Advocate Service employees may also be available to assist with issues that meet certain criteria. IRS staff will schedule appointments for a later date for deaf or hard of hearing individuals who need sign language interpreter services. Uh, foreign language interpreters also will, will be available. The IRS follows Centers for Disease Control Social Distancing Guidelines. There's a link to that here for COVID-19 and availability may change without notice. So hopefully they're going to stick with it and actually do some face-to-face -face stuff, possibly giving a message out there that, uh, you know, it would be nice to you know, do some more of the face-to-face -face stuff where it is going to be needed as well. So people are required to wear face masks and social distance at these events. People who would need assistance preparing tax returns can visit a volunteer income tax assistance center, the VITA or tax counseling for the elderly location. There's a link to that here. VITA sites offer free tax help to qualifying individuals who need assistance in preparing their own tax returns, including people who earn 58000 or less, persons with disabilities, and limited English-speaking taxpayers. People who need to pay their federal taxes with cash can visit irs.gov forward slash payments to get information on several payment options. There's a link to that here. More information can be found at the links below. How to register for certain online self-help tools. Reconciling your advanced child tax credit payments on your 2021 tax return irs.gov forward slash rr to learn about filing requirements for the recovery rebate credit there's links to that stuff here there'll be a link to this in the description